Welcome to Amazing World Channel. Thousands of people have protested in Dublin, calling for an end to Ireland's strict abortion laws. Campaigners took part in the March for Choice in the capital's city centre, chanting Hey, Hey, Leo, the Eighth Amendment has got to go, and carrying banners which read Keep your rosaries off my ovaries and parent by choice for choice. This year's March, the sixth in a series of annual events, was more significant than ever given the recent confirmation there will be a referendum on abortion next year. Sam at Green Eggs underscore hands up who wants to R E P E A L T H E eight at Frisa Felagal A R C M A R C H seventeen pick dot twitter dot C O M six A C J Q nine Wama September the thirtieth, twenty seventeen. The government recently set a potential timescale of early summer twenty eighteen for a referendum on the Eighth Amendment. The section of Ireland's constitution imposing tight legal restrictions on terminations. The amendment, which was voted into the constitution by referendum in 1983, affords equal rights to unborn babies and pregnant women, and gives fetuses the right to life by law. Terminations are only permitted when the life of the mother is at risk, and the maximum penalty for having an illegal abortion in Ireland is 14 years in prison. Thousands of Irish women travel to the British mainland each year to have a legal termination. Campaigners gathered at the Garden of Remembrance at lunchtime, making their way down the city's main thoroughfare, O'Connell Street. They marched along the River Liffey and passed the landmark Custom House before reaching the Irish Parliament. Among those who spoke at the end of the march in Merrion Square were the civil rights leader and former politician Bernadette Devlin McAlisky, comedian and actor Tara Flynn, British Labour MP Stella Creasy, and poet and LGBT activist Matt Kennedy. Anti-abortion activists staged counter-events in Dublin and across Ireland calling for the Eighth Amendment to be preserved, indicating protests from both sides are likely to intensify in the lead-up to the referendum. A protest rally was staged outside the Irish Embassy in London on Saturday, with campaigners highlighting the numbers of Irish women who have travelled to Britain for an abortion in the last three decades. A few hundred demonstrators gathered outside the embassy, chanting 34 years since 83, stop sending women across the sea and holding placards which read healthcare not Ryanair and Irish women deserve better. The campaigners also attempted to make more than 205,700 white chalk marks on the pavement to represent the number of women who have travelled to mainland Britain from both the Irish Republic and Northern Ireland since 1983 to access a safe abortion. London Irish Ark at Nairish Shark. How many is enough? We are making a mark for 205,704 people who have been exiled from Ireland for safe abortions in the UK. 205 travelled pick. Twitter. C O M S N Z 0 J 1 Ard September the 30th, 2017. Me Vorily from the London Irish Abortion Rights Campaign said these journeys, which are often taken in silence and are very stigmatised and shameful in the eyes of our government. We wanted to make them visible by making these physical marks on the pavement here today. She said campaigners were encouraged by recent polls which she said have shown that most Irish people want to see a liberalisation of Irish abortion laws. She added we really confident that the Irish public will engage with this issue, will have a good debate and people will begin to see that abortion is already happening. It's just not happening in Ireland. And the time has come to kind of wake up to that and do better for our women and offer this care at home, rather than exiling them to other countries.